by Peters. He gets the push to King that he needs. Now Todd needs Joey Coulter to get there and get on the back of his truck. The top two have separated themselves on the bottom line. Falling back is the 11 of Todd Bodine. Now they're three wide back there for the fifth position. Down the back stretch they go. Less than a lap and a half from Daytona. John King's doing a great job as Terry Cook told him. Left side's on the yellow line. Running along with Ty Dillon. He decides the outside line might be the way to go. Look at Tom Bodine. He's coming back. He's got pushing from Joey Coulter, and they're making some ground. Now moving off of the bottom of the racetrack as they come into the tri-oval. Well, Stay on the line. They're trying to make something happen up top here. Stay on the yellow line. Jason White, and around Stay they, they go. The that will line. bring the caution out the as Joey line. Coulter goes flying into the catch finch. Just past the start finish line, and that will mean John King will win yeah, at Daytona. John, you just won Daytona. Come here, get this checkered flag. That's the all yellow yours right there, my friend. And the checkered. Get checkered flag. Okay. John King, a winner at Daytona International Speedway. This is how it happened as far as the caution coming out. Look back in the middle there, the 22 of Joey Coulter. A little bit of contact with the 31 of James Busher. Gets up into the catch fence. And man, does that catch fence do its job. And of course, Ty Dillon slipped right through again. See Ty there in the truck with the bright neon orange just slips right through. I'm just glad Coulter's okay. That was wild looking. See the way it ripped that back of that truck apart? Well, sure did. And the front. James Busher in the 31 got into the back of that 22. Watch this. Well, look at that ride, will you? Is that Hornaday going underneath Joey Coulter? Hornaday underneath the 22 of Joey Coulter. 